Evening ladies and gents, how are we getting on? So, a bit of preamble before we get into our build tonight. We've, uh, you may have noticed that uh, lately my uploads have slowed down a little bit. The major reason for this is my life taking over. That's something vaguely resembling a social life lately. And uh, other bits and pieces, work and such like, which as you can imagine, take up a bit of my time and slow down my upload rates. I've also run out of, uh, I think I might have said in one of my other builds, I've run out of pre-made stuff to finish off, do tours on, that sort of thing, so I'm doing everything from scratch at the minute, which is slowing me up a bit. Uh, I'd also like to apologise in advance if I sound like death warmed up at the minute, that's basically because that's how I feel. Uh, I was away last weekend for my birthday, went down to London, had a really nice weekend, if all that touristy stuff, it was great. However, I've come back and I seem to have caught some form of infectious disease and I'm feeling terrible. Basically, I've got a rotten cold. So, uh, if I sound awful, that's why. I'll do my usual uh, tour with a walk around and a talk through of everything. But uh, I might also do a uh, silent one at the end if you don't want to listen to me sounding sick and horrible. So, without too much further ado, here we go. So, obviously, we're in Diamond City. This is a home plate, and I started out with the idea of building basically a power armor museum in here, and it's expanded expanded out rather, get away, uh, into something slightly larger. With uh, being around in London last weekend, have all the museums there, turned it more into a, a war in the Commonwealth Museum. So that's the theme I've gone for. I bought right up in my face. So we can't put anything on the outside of home plate, unfortunately. That's the nearest thing I can do to an advert. I've stuck the new coal power armor out here. So let's go and have a, a look around inside, shall we? So here we go. Welcome to Diamond City War Museum. Somewhere here to get your tickets. The uh, cash registers on the top there. Utterly pointless fine, but you know, a bit of decoration. There's more junk decoration in here than you'll get on most of my builds because it's nice and small, quite easy to do, and settlers, well you can't have any settlers so they won't be here to knock it all off. Which is usually my bugbear and often sends me on a killing spree. But uh, seeing as that's not going to be a problem, I thought I'd do a little bit here and there. So, got our power armour and military themed decor with a few bits and pieces from Nuka World. Just cause. They're the only ticket sign I could find. So. Slapped a no smoking sign over it to cover up the logo. Since we're not actually in Nuka World. So we've got a few bits and pieces of armour and clothing. Sort of thing you might see around the wasteland. Sort of thing worn in uh, battle by various individuals, military and such like, before the bombs fell and possibly afterwards as well. Nuka kernel machine in case you get thirsty. And a few more bits and pieces. This is more stuff you'll see around the wasteland as it is today. Left over from pre-war and some Minuteman stuff, that sort of thing. We get into our power armor here. So we've got some Raider stuff. I really like these uh, power armor displays. Really good for this. No more hanging them on an oversized uh, power armor workstations. That's the Overboss's armor from Nuka World as well. Fits quite well with the Raider stuff. And Raider themed, and it's a, a little bit of variety. I'm quick nosy on upstairs because I've made a little manager's office up here. Yeah, pretty basic, he's got his safe to keep his takings in. I realise there's no actual inside to it, but you know, fallout and physics. I was going to use the roof as a storage area, so we can kind of assume it's storage area, but there's not really that much room up there, so I didn't in the end. Ended up moving a lot of my spare power armor out of Sanctuary and just dumping it in the spare room in Vault 88, actually. That took a lot of time. So, assault rifle and combat rifle. More war theme stuff. Our T45. Got some Minuteman paint on this one. These are actually hitching posts because you can't put any fences in here. In fact, it's very limited what you can actually build inside here, which is a bit annoying, and I wanted some form of railing around, so. The hitching posts from uh, the Dryrock Gulch part of Nuka World work quite well for that. I'm very pleased with that. I haven't actually got two complete sets of T45. It's the first time that's happened to me. Which is kind of annoying because it's the first time I actually want to show off my power armor display as well. 
apart from the one within the castle, which is not complete either. But there we go. Got to do what we got to do. Something a bit more technologically advanced here. A laser rifle and plasma pistol. Oh, missed this one here. Pipe weapons and a laser musket. You can see we get more advanced as we go along. And we've got some grenades and other munitions here as well. So we'll cover on the side. We've got our T-51. Which I've got absolutely loads of T-51. Again, kind of the opposite to normal. It's most other saves I've got. Can't find it. Skip past it too quickly. And we've actually got loads of different paint schemes for them now. So it's just two of the brighter coloured ones that I really like. We've got our T-60. This save doesn't have anything to do with the Brotherhood of Steel. I haven't actually had caught them turning up yet, so no Brotherhood of Steel power on the paint, but we've got that's from Automatron, the uh, Tesla armor, and some Atom Cats gear as well, which I actually really like, I think that's really cool. Then we get into the XO1, so we've got our Quantum, and the only other really good paint for XO1 is Institute paint, but you have to go right down that quest line and I haven't done and won't be doing with this save, so there we go. I've got an exit sign there because I felt I had to have one if I've got an entrance one, but it's kind of in a rubbish place, there's really anywhere to put it. Rocket launcher there, just because we can. Nice little gift shop, cycling light up there. You see, we've done a bit of junk decoration back here, sort of uh, themed stuff for the uh, museum that you can buy for yourself, mods and stuff. I've actually got radios all around the place, so if they were on, you'd be able to hear the music nice and evenly through the building. Which, with it being a kind of L shape, doesn't work very well. Unless you place about three of them around, which is what I've done. And there we go, just a little bit more decoration up here, just to stop the place looking quite so bare. I didn't want to over illuminate it, because I want the focus to be on the exhibits rather than anything else. That's why there's not a great deal going on behind them. Put some rugs down because otherwise it's quite noisy to walk around in here. A few warning signs because we've got live munitions and such around here. And I think that takes us through everything. So yeah, nice quick easy build. It's a bit of fun. Junk decoration. Yeah, I'm still not a fan. I'm driving around the bend, but at least it's not going to get knocked all over the place in here. Don't know how long it'll actually stay on the shelves for. We'll see. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, do the usual stuff, like, subscribe and so on. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well. And I'm not crazy busy on those, but hopefully you'll uh, enjoy my mad ramblings on there. Thank you very much.